Hello. Let me get up on screen, turn the sound off so I can hear myself. Oh, let me just check my internet connection. Oh, it's on the wrong one. And I'm back again. Hello, Kayleen. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm back. Hello, hello, hello. Am I back? Have I frozen? What's going on here? Nothing's happening. I've frozen. All right. Hold that thought. I know I'm good. Am I still here? Yeah, okay, good. I'm back. Sorry, guys. How are we? I'm back again for another little live. It's Art by Marlene Day. So what that means is I'm going to be playing with some Art by Marlene products and some, I'm going to make a little tag book today. So for as part of the Great International Craft Show, I uh, have got some great specials and be doing these live Facebooks every day just to share the love around and show the appreciation to you guys for supporting this this happy family business. So, um, oh, sorry. No, that's right. Let me just move my tripod. Ooh. Sorry, guys. If for those of you who are, get seasick, there we go. Hopefully, we've eliminated the wobble. Um, so, yes, I'm going to be doing a. Oh, I need to see the comments. Hang on a minute. I'm going to be making a little taggy book today. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> Ness is sitting in the school car park waiting and watching. That's really funny. Um, hey, Pina. Hey, Shelley. Kayleen. Linda. And Lise. All right. So let's crack into this. So Art by Marlene has a couple of fantastic products that I absolutely adore. And one of them is this. It's this, um, sorry guys, um, it's this gorgeous little make your own layered tag journal. Um, really, really great product. The, she's got another one as well and, oh, hello Karen, I see you and Michelle. Um, what I love about this one is it comes with four dies and you can, die, you can cut the end of your tags to get this excellent layered look. So that's really, really cool. Um, also comes with the rings so you can bind it all together. The other one that she does is excellent because it has washi tape in it for binding. Um, or you could purchase the tab tags. So these are the same size as what's in your tag journal kit, but they have got um, their, I guess they're the, the add-ons so you can make more. And they're a 300 GSM. So they're super duper thick and a really awesome product. I love these. They are a really clever product. I think that's really good. So what I thought I would do today is I'm going to make a little tag journal. But I'm just going to use the Dina Wakely number 8 tags. Because I didn't want to open one of these packs today. The way that I'm going to do this. So the number eight tags come in a pack of 50 for 20 something bucks. They're super cheap. Very, very easy to use. Um, and I love that they are lovely and thick. They're that heavy, heavy manila tag. So what we've got here, I've just got one, two, three, four, five, and I'm just going to join five of these guys together. To make this book so there's a couple of things that you can do i can make a book and i haven't really thought about this too much i can make it like a little book like this where i open it like that or i can go for a concertina where it folds all the way out uh the only difference is if i make a a little book i'll have to bind it after and paint it first or if i make it a concertina one 
then I can paint it all at once, which is so much more fun. Okay, so to do it, simple things that you need. Washi tape. So Dina Wakeley has this awesome washi tape. It's a pack of three with a really thick one, then a one inch, and then a maybe three quarters of an inch. It's probably, oh, there you go. Two inch, one inch, and 0.75 of an inch. This is the ideal product for this purpose. But um, I couldn't find my roll. You could also use, this is the Color Study washi tape. These are super gorgeous because they have got some really amazing prints on them. So that would work. I've got some All and Create washi tape here. And I'm going to be using that today. So what I'm going to do is tear off a piece and just pop it like that. And then this one here, I'm going to butt it almost up to it. Almost up. There's a tiny, tiny little gap in between there, as you can see. Done. And I like to do it on both sides. I like to make sure that it's got that strength on both sides. So washi tape, of course, is not permanent. It is a low-tack tape. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting over the top of this and possibly collaging, so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, I've got some All and Create. I've got this one as well. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to get it on there like that. Flip it. Leave a tiny, tiny little gap. And then do this side. So if you've got some really awesome washi tape, you could incorporate it into your tag book. I've got this little skinny one. So this is number 19, All and Create washi tape. And then flip it, flip it good, butt it up to it. So we can see what's happening here. Dun, dun, dun. Looking good. And I'll do this one again. And I'm just rubbing my fingernail right up against it just to make sure that it is really, really stuck down and then it is done. Voila, instant tag journal, tag mini book. So all I'm going to do now is just cut off the excess and it's actually easier to do it when it's folded. And so there's that one done. That one done. So if I was to do it with, um, and I'll actually show you, because I do have a couple of extra tags here. So if I was to do it and make it into a journal that, oh, hang on, let me cut these guys off. Cut. All right, done, done, done. So in a minute when I paint this up, you're going to be mind blown. Um, what else have I got handy here? I did have, where are they? Oh, I had some more of the, oh, here's some of the Dina Wakeley large tags. These are the number 10 tags. So if you're wanting to make a journal the other way, and actually I'll use her, 
I have a piece of, have some of her tape here, which is my favourite one. So um, I've sold out of her new sticky back canvas tape. That would be ideal for this technique. But, um, but the last roll sold yesterday, I think, actually. One of you guys were lucky enough to get your hands on it. All right, so that's made a fold. Oops, bonus bit. Like that. So what I want to do now is take another piece over the top. Take another tag. And tape that one to it. So what's happened is that is going to go that way. I'm doing that. So I can do it again and add that last page on. And I'm still leaving a little gap, as you can see. It's like a, just a little gap so that when I fold it back like that and then just rub it all down, I'm just rubbing my fingernail, but you can use a bone scorer, of course, if you don't have fingernails. And the very last thing I'm gonna do is try and get it straight-ish. and wrap it around that end. So I've just used a number 10 tag, five number 10 tags or four number 10 tags. I've got a dog at my feet. Sorry guys, if you can, if you get a camera shake, she's walked up to the tripod. Oh, Ollie, out you go mate. Quick, Ollie, outside. Out, scoot, mate. All right, so. <laughs> Click clack. All right, so see how that now has become one, two, three. And I could just keep building that and it's gonna work just fine. And it's just using washi tape. No probs at all, happy days. So there you go, quick little mini book. So that is one way of doing it. Oops, three, four. Um, and then we have got this way here where we have just joined them together and we've made a little concertina mini album. All right, so what do we do with that next? Well, we paint it. So we're going to get painty. Going to get all painty, painty, painty now. Let me get some of these bits out the way. Oh, there's a few of you watching. Good, good. All right, so I'm going to lay it out like this and I'm going to paint over the top of that just using Dina Wakely paints. At this point, it won't really matter what you use. I have got here a... I've got some yellow. I'm just going to start with a little yellow around my page. And I always start with the lightest colour and move up from there. Paintbrush, I'm going to go with a, a wide paintbrush perhaps. Let's just get it on there. And I'm dry brushing. So dry brushing means, of course, that it dries much, much quicker. I get a smaller amount of paint on. But what makes this work really, really well is that the vertical strokes are going to tie it all together. So I will flip it in a minute and do the other side. Of course, um, I'm going to now use the Dina Wakeley Tangerine. And I'm not going to use much. And I'm not washing my brush because I'm using colours 
that are alongside each other on the color wheel. So I don't need to use very much at all. Okay, um, and the color wheel, me, the, sorry, what I was saying about that. The color wheel, I'm using colors that are alongside each other on the color wheel, so they are not going to muddy up. Using not very much paint means that I have that ability to be able to move it around and it dries super quick. Um, oh, whoops, okay, we gotta make, we'll stretch that out. That's a lot of paint. Um, Radio. And overlapping. So if I was to suddenly just whip out a green, it would blend in with the orange and make brown. So we don't want that to happen. That doesn't look pretty. So again, just whipping it, whipping it through. I don't like this bit here. I just need to add a little bit more paint. So I'm going to make a blob there. And essentially I'm just painting over the washi tape. I'm being super, super relaxed. Uh, next color. Let's get some fluoro in there. Why the heck not? So this is Tropical Sangria. And I'm just going to go over here this time and I'm going to dip into that. Now, fluorescent colours are not solid. They are more transparent. So I am making sure that it's going over a white area especially. And, oops, I totally covered up my yellow there. Now, I have not gessoed these tags at all, okay? There's no gesso on them. They are a solid... Just a, a plain manila tag. And I'm gonna use, oh, here we go. I'm gonna use some strawberry daiquiri as well. So I'm going super bright with these tags and then I'll stencil with some contrasting colors, I think. And that might, you can see that that was way too much paint on my brush because it just put on so, so much. It's made the other colours look dull. That's how bright this paint is. Gosh, love it. So how's everybody's Friday going? You doing all right? Anybody doing anything special today? Anything fabulous? Or I am your special fabulous day. What's going on? All right, so I'm just gonna flip that. There it is, just layers of color. All right, and now I'm just gonna flip it and do the same thing again. So now I'm gonna start with the yellow and work up to the orange, so I'm going to clean my brush. But before I use my brush again, I'm going to squeeze all the water out of it with some paper towel so that I can continue with that dry brushing technique. It's raining where you are, Ness. It is, you're in what, Canberra from memory? Yeah, Canberra. Um, it is an absolute perler of a day here. It is so, so nice. Haven't seen much of it yet. Um, yesterday, Louise and I sat outside on the back steps in the sun. Um, not today, though. We'd had a forced break yesterday because the internet died. Not today at all. All right, so there's my yellow. Whack that on. Okay. I hope I'm not making this look hard because seriously, it is the easiest thing to do. Oh, a couple of you are playing along at the same time and creating as well. That's amazing. So this technique would look fan would be fantastic for art journals. It'd be fantastic for making card fronts. It's not difficult. It's lovely and easy to do and um, would look good if you did it in cool colours. But I used cool colours for my background on my art journal page I did earlier today. So that's why I thought, right, this time I'll jump in and do some um, 
pinks and some, some warmer colours and go from there. Oh, Sonia's, pro Sonia's procrastinating so uh, about doing the dishes. Honey, your dishes are still going to be there later. Don't worry about it. And don't you have kids to do the dishes? <laughs> That's what I hate about it when Jessica goes to Max's place for the weekend and goes and hangs out with his family. Who's going to empty my dishwasher for me? Like, what's that about? I don't have to actually do it myself, do I? Gosh, no. All right, so there we go. And a bit of this last one again. Come on, out you come. So these are the a combination of the Dilusions and the Dina Wakeley paints. They do work nicely together. Uh, I think that they are a really lovely combination. I'm not using shimmer paints. I used those in my live earlier. Um, paints are not going to be on special this weekend. Uh, so don't procrastinate on those. I have nearly sold out of the shimmer paints that I showed earlier. They are just gorgeous. So jump on that boat and go back and watch that video because they were pretty cool. I do love those shimmers. All right, that works for me. Rough and ready. Bit streaky there and I am happy. So double-sided, super quick, but this is just the base. So I'm just gonna pop that aside while I clean this mess up. And again, this is what this mat comes in handy for, having a, a clean space every time you create makes all the difference to how you create. What are you doing over there, Louise? You're just dropping everything you can. <laughs> I'm trying. You're trying? Good girl. Excellent. All right, so that is using, um, so I just used Dina Wakeley's Lemon, Dina Wakeley's Tangerine, Dina Wakeley's Magenta, and then also um, Strawberry Daiquiri and Tropical Sangria from Dilusions. So I want to make sure that I've got a little bit of pop of fluoro in there as well. So that, oh, it's almost dry. Not totally. So all I want to do now is add some, but this side's dry. I want to add some contrasting colours with some stencils now. Oh, oh, oh. oh I can oh, hear. That was, a bit much. was that me talking then, boy? I might want to turn your volume down on your phone. Nobody needs to hear me. Um, okay. I'm actually just going to make sure that that's totally dry before I do anything else. Drink break. I hope everybody's drinking enough water. I'm not. While you're drying, there's a question here. Do you do gift vouchers? Do I do gift vouchers? Bronwyn wants to know. Bronwyn, yes, we do gift vouchers. So all you need to do is they just need to jump online, fill in the details, and it is done. So Mother's Day is coming up, guys. So make sure, and my birthday, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. Um, so Mother's Day is coming up, and I'm pretty sure you all want a gift voucher for online. What do you reckon? Dried? Done. So let's do a little stenciling. Just a little. I don't want to overdo it on the stenciling. Um, I have some paper artsy stencils here. Let's have a look at some of these guys. Oh, I might just use that one. I like that one. And I'm, I'll am i use this one first, and then I'll go and use some of the Natalie May scrapbooking ones. So what colour shall I stencil in? I need something over the top that's going to go bam and, and be very awesome. Let's try some turquoise. I'm going to make up a little... A little squishy puddle here. You, oh, Bronwyn, your birthday's on the 10th. Oh, well, happy birthday. My birthday's the 8th. Trevor's birthday's the 6th. Um, yours is the 10th. My cousin's is the 10th. His wife is the 9th. Their daughter is the 8th as well. 
it's it's birthday month in our house is just like oh and our two dogs who are both born on the same day but unrelated um they are born on the 20 21st so it's all happening all right so i have got a blending tool to do this i have got turquoise and i have got periwinkle blue so i'm going to use both of these and i'm just going to dab on some paint and i'm just going to get it on there like that just like that and i'm not doing the whole thing i'm i'm making it one big long mini book so just doing this and just dabbing it on, making it happen, getting that color on there. So everybody's birthday's in May. All right, so what happened nine months before May? I can't do that maths. I'd have to use my fingers and my fingers are busy. Are you doing that maths for me, Louise? No, I'm just thinking. September? September? I can tell you. August, so, what date's our mum's birthday, Lou? Oh, the 11th of September. 11th of September. That's way too much information, isn't it? <laughs> That's a horrible bloody thought. Because people don't have. Oh, there you go. You were born on Mother's Day 51 years ago. Oh, you're only 51 years young, Bron. Um, I don't even know how old I'm going to be this year. Somebody asked. Stefan and I were talking about it this morning at the gym. I couldn't work out if I was 46 or 45. He reckons I'm 47. I just think he's wrong. I think I'm 45, actually. You're going backwards then? No, I was born in 1975. So this year I'll be 46. So I'm, is that right? This, so that means I'm still not 47 or 46 i'm 45 all right in case everybody was knowing wanting to know about my <laughs> all righty so um let me go with so that is the turquoise sitting on top of that fluoro can you see how cool that looks flip it flip it flip it good all right, um, am I going to do another different stencil, another design? No, I'm going to use the same design. Let's commit to it, hey? So, periwinkle. Are you writing my birthday in your diary, Louise? <laughs> yeah. You better bloody not be. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um... So the Dilutions paints are just a little bit thinner and they're not, they've got a, a slightly, slightly different coverage. So I am just making sure, yeah, look at that, that it's all happening. I mean, I can polish it like this, but it, it's that whole wipe on, wipe off thing. So I prefer to just do a little dab just to make sure that it gets in there, gets into the gaps. Just a little up here for balance because you have to do things in threes. I can't not. And I do like these blending tools for this purpose. <laughs> Um, and I am going to put one more colour over this as well, I think. I think it needs one more. Flip it. Flip it good. Thank you. Now I've got that in my head as well, Tina. Thanks, <laughs> babe. It's bad enough that I already sang on this morning's Facebook live twice. 
And I'm not going to do it again because there's only so much humiliation that one really needs to do in one day. So this technique of the layering with the with the paint and the stencils works great, but the stuff underneath has got to be dry. You need to make sure that your paint underneath is dry or it's just going to get all muddy. Um, and nobody wants a muddied mess because we are using opposite colours. We're using contrasting colours. We need to make sure. And I'm trying to make sure that all my stenciling is touching in one way, shape or form. So even just over here, just a little it's touching. And then back in this corner here is a little bit of overlap going on as well. Like that. And I put way too much paint on that side. Um, And I'm going to do one more colour over the top. I like that side better. And the colour that I'm going to put over the top is going to be what? You're going back out to sort your sheep out, Tina? Do you move, are you moving him around? What are you doing with the sheep? What's the go with that? Sorry, I you know live in the burbs. Blue? Blue? What do you think, Louise? Crafty Lou? Pop of what? Don't you say purple, because I'll throw, throw it right back at you. I was thinking white. Bit of white? Yeah. Oh, I could white. Because look at, it's slightly yeah, okay. different colour on Look here. at you. It is, it is a different colour on, mm. on, um, oh, maybe, oh, here we go. Bit of mineral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bringing them in for lambing, drench and vaccine. Wow, that sounds like a lot. Okay, would you... Oh, no, hang on. I'm sure I had another mineral open somewhere. How did I lose that? Right-hand corner, second up, right, that one. Up, no, that, no, no, that's, that's elephant. Mm -hmm. For goodness sakes, Natalie. What's that colour? Heather. Oh, it doesn't need to be purple. I can tell you right now. Another oh. elephant. You've got two elephants. There's two elephants in the room. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, I did have one open. Look at that. Your Let's throw that in the bin. Let my assistant help me today. Karen suggested white as well, but we're going to go with mineral, which is this blue-grey combination. And I'm even going to put a clean sponge on because I don't want that to be a... That's too hard. Um, a mess. A mess. A messy a mess. So I've got that. And, oh, I've got a domed... No, I won't use a domed one. I'll use a flat one. Here's one. This is this yesterday's sponge, which I've cleaned. Right. That's pretty much dry. So I can, let's start on this side. So I'm just putting it on and then kind of taking it off so that it gives a, a lighter coat. Just in case I mess it up, I can go back and wipe it off but I, I'm trusting your instincts. And I feel that it's not going to stand out enough. So I'm gonna put some white. Well, we right. Because there, I knew there was an I told you so coming. And I'm surprised it took you that long. Well done. <laughs> so let's just lighten that up a bit. Hmm. Okay. Let's just commit to it, hey? What are you laughing at, Karen? <laughs> I see everything. I have a teenager. Where is my teenager? On the bed. On the bed. It's a given. 
everybody else have a teenager who just, you know, could be doing life, but no, no, they're doing laying on the bed, scrolling through their phones. Is that a thing? Correct. If that's just a standard. Not that, you know, not that I wouldn't do that if I had half the chance, but, but I'm here with you creating, making pretty things. Loving it. Yeah, that works, hey. It's coming together. Good stencil. It's a great stencil. I don't know which one it, which, what it's called though, because I lost the packaging on mine. So is it a? It's a um, artsy? it's a paper artsy one. One eight seven. One eight seven stencil number one eight seven is what I am using today. P.S. P.S. One eight seven. So it's really quite nice. Designed it's, by Tracy Scott. It's a Tracy Scott design. Very nice. This is one of the very first stencils of hers that I purchased, um, mm, I don't know, 18 months ago. I did an online class with her to learn some new skills because we all have to learn. All right, so a bit down here. So I flipped it. Just going to go back in over the top. Dab it for intensity. Stick the corner of my stencil in the paint. Man. A bit more up here. Danish has commented, yes. So I'm assuming that your teenager does exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't ever remember doing that as a kid. We were out riding our bikes, stealing cigarettes out of mum's handbag and going down and smoking in the gully with my friends. Well, that was, you probably didn't need to know that. Um, you know, we were, we were doing cool stuff. I wasn't looking at the cool stuff. I wasn't looking at other people doing cool stuff which is essentially, I think, what our kids are doing, isn't it? Um, work a bit down here. All right, so I am gonna stop before I can't take it back. Yeah, it was the no mobile, mobile phone thing. I reckon that was it. It was um, the not having, we didn't have phones, which is probably a good thing, let's be honest, because all the stuff I did didn't need to be caught on any sort of social media. We met at the Mall's Balls. We met our friends at the Mall's Balls, correct. That's here in Adelaide. Um, and we met down at the corner shop or at, at the front of Sports Girl. That was always a thing. Um, I'm just going to clean off my workspace guys and then I will, we are getting close to doing the next bit and which I'm totally unprepared for, but you know what? That's not news, is it? All right. So here's my background. We have got a excellent array of colors on our super bright background and I flip it. Playing elastics instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, I bloody loved elastics. And skipping rope. I've got a skipping rope and I use my skipping rope still. But only in boxing class. And only in a sports bra. Yeah, look at that. See? Dun, dun, dun. It opens the wrong way. It needs one more tag. I did it. Yeah, anyway. Just commit to it. Commit to it, Natalie. Right, so we can embellish this. The embellishing comes now from working on each individual space. So it can be a little bit of stamping and a saying. 
we could take um i've got what have i got here i've got one of the michelle logan um which ones are these the luminous lovelies that could go on there that would be fine i could add oh uh, hello tana tana from new zealand yeah darling get, get crafty again um okay so well, uh, these are the bold blooms so you could do that but i think i've got one of the collage collectives from dina wakeley here i could put one of those on they're super bright do i really want something that bright to go onto this background or does it need something less bright what could i do um didn't think this bit through at all so stop regroup think about it you know what it needs it needs some phrases it needs a little stamping and a few phrases um how about how about how about how about how about oh um hey my lou up in that corner yes grab me all of those please since your hands are right there in the spot let's crack out some natalie may scrapbooking stamps and we're going to add a few stamps to our background we're just going to add a little bit of texture and then i'm going to put some some simple images because we don't want to over complicate it there's a lot going on here right so we don't want to over over complicate we just want to add a little bit of oh what's she done there that's what we want to add so this one is from my stamp set. These, um, my stamps that I have designed will not be on special this weekend. You will not find them coming up in a, in a sale at all over the weekend. So jump on that now. And that's the same as the paper artsy. You won't find that on special because that's so new. And I'm giving that to you at the best possible price at the moment. Um, so I'm going to flip that. And I'm going to repeat, rinse and repeat. And I'm not putting it on a block simply because it just doesn't need it. I'm after a organic look. There's the word again. It's that wanky word. That, sorry, not, we shouldn't say that. Oh, well, I already swore live on Facebook this morning, didn't I? So, but it is, it's really quite a bit of a jerky sort of word. adding that little bit of texture and I could color those in in white and that would look pretty great okay so there's the first lot um what I think I might do now is I'm going to just add a little doodling then before I uh finish up I'm going to be adding I'm going to stamp some phrases off of my actually I'll do that while, while you're on here why not I'm enjoying this so much um I need a piece of plain white cardstock Ow. Amongst yourselves. Just yet, yeah, chat amongst yourselves. I'm back. I walked all that. Well, no, that's a gift voucher. Okay. I found a piece of. I don't even know what that is. But what I want to do is stamp some words on it, some simple phrases, and I'm just going to let my my um, painting do the talking. Actually, Lou, could you grab me a piece of? I don't know, it's something that's not that. It's not happening. No, that's shiny. Sorry, guys, I'm coming. It's this creating on the fly thing. That's all right, I've got some. Calm down. Calm down, it's under control. White. Sorry, guys, it's about doing the things. All right, so I'm just going to stamp a heap of these phrases. So you could use stickers. You could use um, 
So Art by Marlene does some really funny little stickers as well. I have got my own. When are you getting new stamps? When am I getting new stamps? What sort of stamps would you like? Karen would, Campbell. Karen. When am I designing new stamps, Karen? I have started designing them. Um, I, I was running out of hours in the day and created the stencils. Um, I endeavour to whip up some stamps very shortly. Um, but again, I... It's just about having the hours in the day at the moment and trying to do all of the things. Um, I hope to start planning them very soon. I am going to... I don't want that one. Um, I'm going to, after the retreat at the end of this month, which I noticed, Karen, your name is notice noticeably absent from the list. Dal, what's your excuse? Um no pressure um so i plan on on getting that done after the retreat it's just about getting you know ticking off a few boxes there's a few things in the in the works here in radelaide that i'm trying to um to get my trying to get organized and get my head around uh do a little bit of life remember to hang out with my family and friends and all those sorts of things as well and be a little bit of a human and then I, then I'm going to do that. So let's just make life a little easier here and put them all on one together. So, but yes, I do look forward to it. And hey, if you want to give me some suggestions on what sort of stamps that you would like to see for me, uh, see from me, I'm up for some feedback um, because I. I'm creating based on what, you know, from listening to you guys, I would love to, I've already done that, Louise. I know what you're going to do next and I reckon I've already done it. Um, Art begins in a vision, I did that one. Live more, worry less. There we go. Yeah, so I'm super keen to take on your feedback if you're after art journal phrases are you after kind words cost nothing there we go i don't think i've used that one yeah so you know what i mean i'd, I'd love some feedback on what you would like to see from stamps that you would use in your collection in your um what you would like to buy that's what it comes down to what's missing from your collection do you need another 11 teen happy birthdays i'm thinking probably not um hey do you know where those big orange handle scissors are are they right in front of you just to your left to your other left all right so this is some of the stamps that are in my set so we've got keep life simple trust the timing of your life good things come to those who hustle Change the thought, change your thoughts, and you'll change the world. Art begins with a vision, make shit happen. We all make choices. Personal favorite. Mm -hmm. Old ways won't open new doors, limited edition. Live more, worry less, be in love with your life. Kind words cost nothing. Um, and the way that I cut these out is I go all to the bottom of them all first. And I like a nice pair of long handled scissors or long bladed scissors for this i don't know why i just do um and then i go back and i do the other way one cut then it's almost guaranteed to be straight not totally straight enough for me cut 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 Cut, 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 cut. Right, done, done, done. Done. 
So this weekend is part of the Great International Craft Show through Craft Alive. And what that means is there are lots of Australian exhibitors um, and other small businesses as well that are having fantastic little mini classes and shows, um, paper craft through to fabric people. Uh, there are some great little uh, family businesses who also love and appreciate your support like I do. Um, so make sure that you head over to Craft Alive and check out some of the other exhibitors. They are, again, like because we are not doing face-to-face -face shows and we are hanging out here, then these other these other businesses also appreciate your support. Um, not as much as I do. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Um, but you know what I mean. Um, unfortunately, doing shows in Australia or across anywhere in the world is a little bit of a risky thing at the moment. And case in point with that was the Perth Craft and Quilt Fair was supposed to go ahead at the end of May. And that was all go, 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 go. Everyone was all super keen for that. And uh, that has just been postponed um, naturally because of the current situation in Perth. And it, um, we, you know, this is our plan B. This is our, our definitely our plan B is, is being online here with you guys and having an online show online. So... Um, I, there's nothing on that one, so I can't cut that one out. Can't cut that one out. Did I miss one? Here we go. Keep life simple. Keep life simple, people. Um, so yeah, make sure that you, has anyone, has anyone been to any craft shows this year? I know there has been a couple, um, interstate. I have not done, we, well, I think there's actually one here in Adelaide this weekend, um, but, you know, timing is everything and the timing of this show, doing this and hanging out with you guys online was more important to me than doing this face-to-face -face show. Um, and you know what, Tina? I do love that it is online so I can talk to all you guys. Um, mind you, I'm doing all the talking. But soon, when you come to my retreat, very, very soon, You can do the talking too. All right. So we have got a whole heap of little phrases here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick them on and I'm going to keep this little tag book super simple. And keep it some of my favorite little phrases, okay? So I'm just stamping these on. I've just stamped them in black archival ink on on card bases i just you know the stuff that i make cards out of drink break sorry guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that they all have one of these big phrases and then I do have some with smaller ones as well. So each page. And then I'll do some doodling on this. How am I going for time? Nearly an hour. Went to Newcastle show, not much paper craft. Yeah. So the catch is with doing shows, so Louise and I have talked about this in, um, in, in great detail. And I think sometimes the organisers forget this. It's all very well for us to go and do a show with you guys and hang out with you. But the problem is getting our product transported. Paper is bloody heavy. Um, freighting this product to you is a little bit of an issue. Um, an issue. It's... And, and small businesses, so if I decide that I want to do a show in, say, for example, Melbourne, just random, pick one, um, 
I, at least four weeks beforehand, need to pack up all of my stock and pack up all of my stock, put it in a pallet and arrange it to get there. Now, if the show gets cancelled, what happens then is the product has to come back and I'm up to a month without my product. I don't have the ability to have, I don't have the, the um, finances to have, you know, two of everything, stuff here for you and then stuff here for, you know, the online. So it makes it a little bit hard to travel and, and do that, if you catch my drift. Um, and if the show, you know, if the show does happen, that's fantastic. We come home with less product. But the transporting of it, like, so for me to go to Melbourne, for example, and just do a show is an outlay of, you know, maybe... Thousands. Yeah, thousands, like 10 grand minimum. Accommodation and transport and freight and, you know, all of those things. Um, just looking for a pen, sorry. So that, that becomes a bit of an issue when you are... When you're traveling um, to do the shows, it's it's a bit of a problem. So you can kind of see how... Michelle says, definitely getting my online fix. So much content, easier to order from you other than getting... getting yeah, look, I, I get that and I understand that people love to feel the product and touch the product as well. Um, just testing my pen and that one's just a little bit too... Th it might work, but it might be a bit thick. Um, yeah, I know that a lot of people like to face-to-face -to -face and like to touch and feel and, um, and touch it with their hands. And I get that, which is why I like to do these, these live Facebooks. So you can see how the products work up close. Um, and that's really important. So, you know, if, if there's something in particular that you want to see... And if I have the ability to be able to show you, then, then fantastic. Please ask the question because that is what we are here for. If, if the sh online shop, okay, in my opinion, hello, Susie Borman. If the online shop that, do, that you deal with can't take 15 minutes to answer your question or give you an example of or show it to you through a video, I, you know, I think that that's really important to do that. And I have no qualms about you guys flicking me a message and saying, Natalie, what have you got in the way of dyes at the moment? You know, FaceTime me. I don't mind. Just make sure that I'm having a good hair day. <laughs> and I've got some makeup on. Um, and I'm not still in my gym gear like I have been since 6 o'clock this morning. Um, but, you know, I, I can either say, I might just reject the phone call and say, look, guys, I'll message you back in 15 minutes. I'm grocery shopping. But you can only ask. You can, you can make an appointment and say, Natalie, what have you got that's new? Or can you open up the pack of the new Minte paper or the new AB Studios paper and show me what the papers look like? doesn't hurt to ask people. That's what customer service is about, isn't it? Does uh, Lindy's Magicals work on gel plates? Bloody oath they do, Tony. I'm going to be having a play with some Lindy's tomorrow. And I won't be doing it on a gel plate, but I will be talking about lots of different ways to hang out, to play with Lindy's. Um, Lindy's, yes, gel plate. You know what, Tony? The easiest way to answer that question is to just do it. Get a tag, get a scrap bit of paper and go, I wonder what would happen if. That is how most of my creating happens. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if. So there you go. Um, so just in finishing this up as I'm doing my doodling, um, jump online, nataliemay.com.au and as I mentioned earlier today, don't forget to look in the mega clearance section. The mega clearance section is something that we tend to think, oh, I don't need the old stuff. It's not just old stuff. It's singles left of certain things. So I know, for example, there's new, new, alternate. 
There's new... <laughs> Again. Say that again. <laughs> new, alter new stamps in there, but there's only one left. So I'm just trying to make my life easier. So I've popped it in clearance. Um, make sure you have a bit of a squeeze. Some of them are up to $10, $15 off the recommended retail. Um, just because I don't have a big area to hold all of this stock, okay? So it is, I'd rather give it to you at a fantastic cost rather than having it take up space. As it is, Louise has put me on a stamp buying ban, which doesn't even require a conversation to go with it, but... Um, I need to make room for more stamps because, like, there's so many cool things coming in. So, um, <sighs> look at that. So, um, yeah, I like to make sure that you guys get good, good value for money. And like I said, if you, if you want to know what's coming in, flick me a message. Join the Natalie May. Where's my bit of paper? Here. Join that group. Type it into your Facebook um, and request to join. And I put in here pre-orders for new products. So the new Dina Wakeley's up for pre-order. The new Tim Holtz products up for pre-order there as well. And then we just get in contact when, uh, when it all comes in. I quite often do special little sales, especially just for you guys, just for those people in the creative community. I will give you a sneak peek on, <sighs> shut up, shut up, all of you, all of you, the ban is not going well, um, <laughs> I, I, I share the love, okay, so Louise is reading the comments on her phone, Karen, Just... Karen Campbell tried to ban herself, but you know, yeah, nah, there's no happens. ban, um, oh, Renee's had a shitty day at work and you came home to see me creating. Oh, well, that's a good thing that you get to see me creating, not the shitty day at work. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's save this conversation. Let's have a look at what we have done. We took a plain manila white tag. Sorry, guys, it's my fat arms in the way. We took two tags and we joined them together front and back with washi tape so they have folded. So we made the mini album. This one's going to be a concertina one. I also also showed you... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me while I choke. Um, I also showed you how to make a tag book out of washi tape and the number 10 tags all right so that's really awesome we then once it was all laid out because here's your finished product once it was all laid out we laid down our base first of um, yellows and pinks and fluoros in the background uh, and just dry brushed that on there front and back we then used the Brand new paper artsy, brand new for me, paper artsy stencil in number 137, number 187, um, and a blending tool and added turquoise, periwinkle blue, and a combination of white and mineral in this area here. And then added a little bit of stamping from my stamp set which I can't remember what it's called we all make choices um, and there we go nice and simple and then I used some of these phrases from my stamp sets as well so this is a really easy way to make a super cute little mini album and use up tags um, these Dina Wakeley tags you, like I said before a pack of 50 for uh, I don't know, 23, 24 bucks or something like that. Um, I did use Dilutions and Dina Wakeley paints. I did not use anything special. I didn't use the new Shimmer paints. 
the colors I used Renee I think were just just the flat colors um, I think that they are ones that you've all got in your collection if not you just need to buy them um, so there you go so jump online today um, art by Marlene products are all 15% off the build your cart what are we calling it no judgment postage special is also happening as well so that means that you if you have already ordered you can add to your cart for pre on your previous orders um for one cent you pay 12.50 for the first order and then after that you pay only one cent to build on your items uh, we will be posting all of our orders out on Monday and Tuesday after we double check them all and make sure that everything's in the bags. Um, and that applies to orders that are under three kilos. So if you have any questions, like I said, don't hesitate to call, to ask, to, um, to, to get in contact. That's what we're here for. We're real people. We are not some big fancy company with with you know a call center that's not how this industry works so i think that that's really important um i will be back again today at 4 30 um and i'm going to do another art journal page i'm not too sure what i'm going to do yet we'll wing it no doubt um so thanks guys jump online nataliemay.com.au and um, I will take some photos of this and link them up so you can know what I used. And I will save it so you can go back and watch it again later, Renee. All right, guys, have a fantastic day and uh, we'll speak to you really, really soon.